You know, it's not often that we see a print method see so much innovation so fast like we have with direct to filmer DTF. Now whether it's the supplies, the materials, the equipment, or the processes, this train is chugging along fast. Now I do want to touch on those last two points specifically. Now on behalf of All American Print Supply, we'd like to introduce to you the latest innovations from DTF Station as far as your direct to film curing options, the Phoenix Curing Ovens. Let's take a look at them. Between trade show demonstrations and this YouTube channel, we've been showing audiences nationwide and globally some of the best techniques for this newer form of digital direct-to-film printing, regardless of what materials, supplies, or tools are available. Now, when I started direct-to-film printing, I was actually using my direct-to-garment printers. Now, I like to use the term dual threat when it comes to printers, especially DTG machines that can do DTF, but not so much with my heat presses. Now, like many of us out there, when I started direct-to-film printing, I was curing my digital prints using the hover method with my heat press. Now, does this work? Yeah. Does this also completely halt and stop my production and prevent me from putting out any more garments? Yeah. Now it is worth mentioning that the Prisma Auto Clam and the Prisma Swing Away are capable of some very user-friendly hover techniques. For example, on those two machines, we can loosen our pressure all the way, and then we bring the machine down to a closed position, the upper platen will actually not make contact, so it'll help us get those direct-to-film printed transfers nice and powdered, nice and cured. However, if we're using our same heat press that we're applying these transfers to our garments to also cure our transfers, gosh, we're gonna be moving half speed at best. If you are looking to take your direct-to-film production to a professional level and really maximize the equipment and these printing techniques, a curing oven is definitely the way to go. Let's take a look at how these latest offerings work, shall we? All right, so let's identify some of the components and pieces on these different Phoenix curing ovens. We got our vents up here and our control panels up front. Now we're gonna be representing how to operate and change these different settings using the A2. Now for those of you who do purchase the A3+, Plus, rest assured, all the operation and instructions are gonna be exactly the same on both ovens. All right, so let's take a look at how we operate and adjust our controls on these different Phoenix curing ovens. First up's gonna be our temperature, which is displayed right here in Celsius. Now we're gonna recommend a starting heat of about 125 Celsius. To adjust this, you're gonna press the first button here, and we can use these directional arrows to either lower or raise our heat. Now after we've entered our desired temperature, we can lock this in by pressing that first button again. Now as far as seconds, you can do the same thing over here by pressing this first button, which will allow you to change the seconds up or down by pressing the up or down arrow. And we're gonna recommend a starting timer of about 100 seconds. And once you've confirmed your temperature and time, you can lock that in with this first button here. After you've entered your desired time and temperature, you can begin the countdown by pressing this button here. Again guys, controls are gonna be the same on both of the curing ovens. Now why do we love curing ovens? Well firstly, this allows me to be much more efficient because it allows my heat press to continue production and continue stamping and applying these transfers. Secondly, this is a very hands-free process. All we're gonna do is simply open the oven itself. I like to place my freshly powdered transfer in a nice central location, close the lid, hit the start button, and you're good to go. All right, so operation on both sides of these new Phoenix curing ovens is gonna be exactly the same. All we're gonna do is place the film into a central position in the oven, give it a close, hit the start button. I can go about my business while my transfers are being cured. And there we have it. Perfect final product, all thanks to the A2 Phoenix curing oven, which can handle these larger size films. All right, now let's see how the Phoenix A3 Plus curing oven performs with a smaller film that can fit inside these dimensions. This is ready to apply, store, sell, ship. Perfect. Now, as everyone's working space can vary, we're always gonna recommend test, test, test to find the ideal settings that work best for you. Now, remember, direct-to-film transfer application times are typically gonna be around 20 seconds, meaning while these are being prepared, there's so much that I can get done with my available heat press, and it's all thanks to my Phoenix curing oven. No matter what printer we're using to prepare our direct-to-film transfers, the curing of the hot melting powder is a part of our process. And with these ovens, we can achieve consistent results and save valuable time in our production. Available in A2 and A3 plus size, these are online now at our website. You can hit the links in the description below for more information. That's pretty much gonna do it for this video. I hope you saw a little bit about why we love these ovens and how they can benefit you and your business. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that red subscribe button, drop some thumbs up for the video. My name is Estevan, we're All American Print Supply. We'll see you on the next one.